Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy JP. This video I'm going to be talking about, you know, Destiny 2 content creators. I've seen videos about big content creators talking about, you know, Heart of It Most Light and if it needs a nerf. And since these guys are just so huge and they've got a lot of reach, I have no doubt in question that this exotic will get uh, nerfed eventually, maybe pretty soon, next season, who knows, right? And I'm just here to argue that it doesn't really need a nerf. I think a lot of the other exotics feel weak and irrelevant and they they don't feel that strong. I don't feel they feel like this exotic uh, is too strong because I've been using this exotic for seasons and seasons uh, ever since it came out. It wasn't a big deal like you know I didn't see it every everywhere. It wasn't like on everyone's radar. Not everyone was using it. People was using yeah everyone had that uh, you know the the melee builds with synth steps and worm god caresses but it's only until like arc 3.0 where everyone started thinking that this exotic is like you know super overpowered for some reason right and and in my opinion it's only the best in slot because everything else feels pretty weak uh, and i will be going through some of the other exotics so you know if this gets nerfed which it will probably get nerfed people are just gonna move to the next best thing that won't fix the issue and the problem of the other exotics that are like trash that are just sitting in your inventory you know what i mean or you're sitting in your in your vault or eating up space you know what i mean it, it won't fix it so this idea that this exotic is is such a huge issue and it's such a problem it needs nerfing they're probably going to nerf it to the ground but it's not going to make um the, ex the other exotic all of a sudden amazing no they'll, they'll still be trash and people just gravitate towards the next best thing so it won't even fix the issue so this exotic isn't the issue it's it's a, it's, it's basically like a sy symptom of the current like sandbox and the meta right because before uh before 3.0 uh subclasses i don't know if everyone remembered it was a we, we used guns a lot abilities felt kind of weak sauce right? you know our abilities kind of felt like trash people were complaining oh our abilities are just whatever they're mid they don't feel too great you know and then so r 3.0 came out and now the game kind of balanced towards using our abilities and our abilities and subclasses felt kind of fun and refreshing right everyone was saying oh we need subclass reworks we got new subclasses like you know the reworks everyone's now happy but now at the same time, when you get exotics like this, which promote using, you know, your subclass abilities, people say it's the problem when it's actually, you know, the art 3.0, the 3.0 system, it they're not taking to they're not taking into account the 3.0 system is more has made our abilities far more powerful than they've ever been. And also the well system. Even without this exotic on, I'm generating elemental wells which can recharge my abilities uh, nearly to full levels so so that so what's making this exotic seem overpowered is you get in the passive regeneration and the wells are kind of giving you instantly full abilities at all times but even without the exotic you, it, the well system is giving you a lot of energy so it's a combination of things and i think it's a bit disingenuous when content creators say oh my god this exotic is broken let's talk about it let's nerf it it's so overpowered and like you know it's kind of cat i just want to ask what's the goal here like to all the big content creators or to anyone who thinks this nerf is justified right because there's a lot of people in the comments right who think there's a lot of people in the comments who say i'm a titan main too and i think this exotic should be nerfed there's a lot of these guys what will nerfing this exotic do what 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 is the goal like because the other exotics will still be bad so will it do you want it to be just as bad as them or do you think that will bring balance because if i'm being honest for most exotic in the titan subclass they're pretty weak like they're so weak that you forget you got an exotic on if you got them equipped like they don't really feel like they're doing anything you, if you play a character you might even forget you have an exotic equipped you know what I mean? Because they don't really change things that much. So, I mean, let's go through the other exotics. Some of the other exotics. So I can show you why this seems strong compared to the competition. Because the competition is just so low. It seems so good. So let's see this exotic, right? So here's what it does. For those who don't know, if you're not a Titan main. Using an ability, grenade, melee, or barricade empowers the other two abilities. 
empowered means that faster regeneration melees and grenades do more damage and barricades have more hit points right pretty good not gonna lie that's pretty good it's like top tier right now look at the condition right like this is what the other content creators may not be showing you they're just saying this broke this this exotic is stupid broken it's overpowered but it's only because you're not leaving people the choice too much of a choice you know what i mean everything else kind of sucks in comparison right so if it gets nerfed, people are just gonna move to the next best thing, right? And here, the, here were like, you know, my top three, top four exotics that people are gonna go down when it gets nerfed, right? Lolly Splendor, Solar Titan, right? It gives you restoration when you're at critical health. Gives you restoration, gives you healing if you're using Soul Invictus. Doesn't, not much, but it, it, it makes you a bit more tankier and that's pretty good, right? Still will not save you in a GM Nightfall. You know, a lot of people who are pro nerfs especially who wanted this this slowly splendor helmet nerfed right before it was nerfed to say oh i just never die in anything which is kind of true but if you're playing nda content like grandmasters yeah you still die they didn't save you you still get one shot like you know so it wasn't that busted they're talking about raids it's easy to stay alive in raids you know so was the nerf justified like all these nerfs i'm talking about i'm talking about pve not pvp if it's if it's like you know affecting game balance in pvp I understand that, uh, but in PVE, like, if something is a little bit stronger than the rest, I don't really see that as a big issue. It's a PVE game, right? You're just facing ads. You're not competing against each other. There's, you know, so what? What's what's the big deal, right? I might be in the minority. People are gonna be using Lord Spender. The next exotic is Synthoseps. You know, increased melee range, increased melee damage when you're surrounded, and gives you increased super damage as well. So everyone's pretty much going to be running synth steps when it gets nerfed third exotic is worm guard caresses gives you increased melee damage as well on melee kills but i think the multiplier is just goes higher than the synth steps when you get like five or six kills uh so yeah it's pretty beastly for like melee abilities you know titan hammers or just you know it's pretty good but phoenix cradle is another good exotic that i slept on uh allies who pass through the your sunspots are given you know the soul invictus you know increased weapon damage and given restoration so it's like it makes your sunspots for everyone pretty much and it's, it's pretty much slept on but it's pretty good but that's pretty much it you know that's what that's pretty much what people are gonna run to when heart of Immortal light gets nerfed which is which is already nerfed in pvp so these 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 content creators who keep complaining about how powerful lol it is they ain't talking about pvp because in PvP game modes and Gambit, it's already been nerfed. Go use it on PvP and Gambit. Gambit. It lasts five seconds, like which feels like four, and it gives you less ability energy. I'm pretty sure it gives you less ability energy. So, like, um, yeah, it's already pretty weak in there. Like, if you use it there, like you're kind of gimping yourself. You're better off with one-eyed mask. But look at the other exotic. Look at the competition for PvE insurmountable skull for it's decent unlimited arc melees it's okay it's, it's mid but you know it's okay you can make a build around it that's a quiet one you gain more energy when you're damaged but you know it's not that much and when you're low on health you get health back but it doesn't regenerate your shield only in your health and you have to be you have to be like dying to pretty much proc its effect kepri's on when you cast the solar barricade it releases a a solar wave in front of you whoop to do like you know what i mean you, that's a whole exotic slot just for that niche use like you know what i mean like this is what you're competing with and then helm of saint 14 this is my favorite exotic in the game in terms of aesthetics but again there's a lot of so there's a lot of titan exotics that are just useful only when you have your super this is only when you have your bubble it does nothing for your neutral game just when you have a bubble it blinds enemies when you have your super and it gives your allies an overshield i mean that's mid at best like you know what i mean like an overshield one you, you just get hit one time it gets taken out it's not that strong to be honest eternal warrior again you only get an overshield when you cast your super only when you cast your super you get an overshield and once that ends you gotta wait another eight ten minutes for your super to return great exotic in pvp by uh so but this is mainly just a pve thing in pve it's okay you you can get your overshield back but it'll do nothing for you during bosses and bosses 
like you can't really kill bosses like like that like in during raids so it won't really do anything for you there it's just for the ad clear pressure scars it gives your your revived teammates over shields and yourself as well and you get a, you get some energy that matches your subclass so if you're solar and you you get solar weapon kills you get a bit of energy like you know for the passive gameplay but relying on something that requires your your allies to be down is kind of you know it's kind of uh, i don't know it's kind of mid ac feedback fences this is a this is a garbage tier exotic if you ever get this exotic just feed it feed it to it's a meme exotic just feed it just infuse it it's like you know it's it's pretty trash doing fun pauldron again you got you got it's only useful when you got your super it enhances your sentinel shield super another super only exotic you know this gives you when you get shield roll kills this extends your super a little bit so this is only good when your super is active the earth of furiosa another super only only using your super your sentinel shield and blocking you gain energy back stronghold an exotic just dedicated to swords like it does nothing else for it. you know it doesn't get it doesn't get you more sword ammo swords don't do more damage you know sword energy doesn't replenish faster it doesn't give you more sword energy it just enhances sword blocking which is whatever like you know what i mean like why would you use this as opposed to one-eyed mask or you know what i mean all the other strong exotics i mean all, all the other meta exotic right characters rampart it's a great idea but they just had to nerf it but look at the wording right you and your allies can shoot through towering barricade which has reduced health and duration it lasts like when i pop it i'm just like wow my barricade is gone already this would have been good but they also made your barricade take more damage from special weapons and you know from energy weapons i think from special weapons i fall mantle another trash exotic just throw this in the bin infuse it why would you ever use this i saw man was one of the worst exotics that just like been released in the game uh in quite a while like you know replaces your barricade with an overshield which is cool right but you can't run or jump so what is the point even in pve like why would you want a barricade that just uh, disables your running and jumping like it doesn't make sense you know what i mean like they should have made it so that you can still run and jump but like the fact that you can't run and jump over and over just for an overshield it's just what is the point right and your barricade does not recharge i mean it slows enemies when you cast it near them but in pvp you cast this near an enemy you'll be dead like before the cast animation is so long it's like a, a, a second long you, they can just shoot shotgun you and the shield won't protect you that much it's like i don't know what we're thinking uh taking away your running in mobility no backup plans useful on shotguns only so if you use shotgun if you avoid sentinel and using shotgun gives you an over shield it's situational at best and then second chance exotic another trash exotic introduced you gain a second shield roll which which can uh stun barrier champions but why don't both of them stun barrier champions that makes no sense like why would you ever use this like mm. and then we got this season's is like point contact cannon brace targets near you and use your thunderclub suffer lightning strikes being amplified increases the range of these lightning strikes whoa lightning strikes guess what these lightning strikes can't even kill a red bar dreg like and this is a whole exotic and the melee energy gain it's it's not a lot like you could just use the insurmountable skull for and just get all your energy back so yeah that's pretty trash and disappointing crest of alpha loopy gives you a little bit of healing when you cast your barricade more orbs from your super situational at best like a whole exotic just to give you a little bit of a like an orb of an extra orb of energy for your teammates pointless action war rig it's like only works on auto rifles reloads all your auto rifles which is good if you're using an auto rifle but i want to use a bow i want to use a pulse rifle i want to use different weapons hand cannon it does nothing for everything if it reloaded all weapons it would have been like so op so good like top tier right hello fire heart increase solar ability regen 
when you got your super active so you literally have to hold your super to get good energy recharge which it is good when you got your super active but you just make sure you don't use your super so it's like that's the condition don't use your super so first of all you're gonna have to gain your super and it won't do much for you while you're gaining your super and then when you get your super you just can't use it to gain the benefit again it's just very very situational and then this one gives you an additional grenade like that's pretty good but the, the, the grenades does it doesn't do anything else to the grenades it doesn't give the grenades more damage better recharge rate like any other thing that will make the exotic feel exotic it's nothing it's just an extra grenade here you go lion ramparts that's just the puzzle exotic in raid trash otherwise mk standard size when you're running with full energy and health you gotta have full health as well so if you're running with full melee energy and health so if you got full melee energy and someone just shoots you one time you don't get overshield you have to have full health which i don't get why peregrine greaves pvp allows all your shoulder charge to get one hit kill <clears throat> so you know my thing is like what is the point of all these nerfs right you know because this has been nerfed in gambit and pvp game modes lasting only five seconds and barely giving you any energy like you'd be better off using anything any any of exotics in, than this i uh, pvp game modes so it's already been nerfed in that front so you know it's the same thing with the divinity nerfs right it's i, I was thinking like but you you nerf in divinity but divinity isn't the problem like it's the core philosophy of how bungie designs the bosses right they could design them a different way more diverse but no they just want to design bosses that are like you know with a small little crit spot you know on their chest on their head somewhere you have to shoot right and then you create the boss encounter around you do a little puzzle now you can all do damage phase and hit that crit spot so obviously people are going to be like mm, you hit this small location let's make it then exotic that makes that better like by making that crit spot huge like divinity is always going to be better because that's how you design your bosses that's why i say like the bosses should be more diverse they should be a boss that you can use swords only or use a relic only like like if, does anyone remember crota from the dark below in destiny one like this is a boss you killed entirely using a sword relic everyone would just use weapons to get a shield down and then one person will go over and use swords on him you know what i mean so now you don't have to worry about you know crit spots they need to chill with these crit spots designing bosses with crit spots maybe have some like you know you gotta just do melees only you know swords only or you gotta use some sort of relic some way to do some other way to do, you know you weaken him with weapons maybe and then you, to, to do damage you gotta dunk dunk a relic you know you dunk four relics four orbs or whatever into into his chest and that blows him up and that does that, that's the damage phase then you do another thing and you know what i mean you, you other alternate ways of doing damage you know that will make divinity not as prevalent but as, as long as you keep designing bosses around hey shoot this tiny little creek spot and the boss is gonna move around well everyone's just gonna be like oh just use divinity to make it better for everyone you know you know they don't address the core issue they just talk about the symptom which is like a divinity uh, you know a heart of your most light these are just symptoms of the current sandbox right it takes more work to actually fix the problem you know to buff all these other underperforming exotics of course everyone's using heart of the most light of course i'm not saying it's not strong you know but like why are people using it they all ask themselves that they'll just say like well usage rate you know five out of ten titans use it fuck it, it needs a nerf you know what i mean that's not a way to balance the game i feel like anyway but that's just my opinion uh if you agree with my rant let me in the comments if you agree or disagree if you disagree tell me why you know but anyways see you next video <laughs>